We're getting you the 411 right here at NBA. We're with Mark Jackson and his mom, Mrs. Jackson. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Now, you know, it's wonderful when you can look at someone who's established themselves and giving back to the community, but also has that strong bond, that strong family bond. Tell us, like, as far as nurturing from a, a mother's standpoint and also from a son standpoint, what that means to each other. Well, I've been blessed. I took a little boy and I nurtured him and gave him a lot of love, a lot of support, and also a lot of rules. <laughs> and I'm very proud of that, the man that that little boy turned out to be. He's an excellent father, he's a wonderful husband, and I am blessed because he's a good son. And an excellent role model. Now, you know, today I was watching the kids and how they were so motivated with you and writing the story and, and just being in your presence. Tell me about that. Well, it's great. Anytime you you um, able to sit in, sit in front of a, a group of kids and to see the glow in their eyes. Uh, as I, when I was a youngster, I didn't have the opportunity to have someone like that in front of me. But these kids can see that I'm a real person. They can dream to be the point guard in New York Knicks. They can dream to be a college graduate. And the reason why is because I'm standing right in front of them, and I was one of them. So it's great to be able to relay that message to them. And uh, this was just a great event. I'm just proud to be part of it. Now, you wrote an excellent poem that was published, and, um, you know, to me, it's an example of what, you know, the whole reading and, and literacy background has. Can you expound a little bit on that, please? Uh, for a lot of years now, I've been dabbling with my pencil, as well as Mark. He also writes. He's being modest. He won't tell you. But uh, it has to come from within. I just don't write on a regular basis. I have to really feel it. And after the tragedy on September the 11th, about a day or two later, I just sat down with my pen and pencil and I wrote what I felt. And what I feel is that we're in a wonderful, wonderful country. We live in a country that so much opportunity is here. And we really, tragedy has brought us together, but we should stay together on a regular basis. And that was the impression I was trying to give with the poem, was to let the world know that we shouldn't wait for tragedy to stand on a united front. We should always be on a united front. Now, Mark, for our viewers, what kind of advice could you give them as far as scholastics and just achieving, achieving your dream because you fulfilled yours? Certainly. Uh, first thing I want to tell them that I was a college graduate, that I didn't allow basketball to use me. I used basketball. And secondly, when you open up a book, you can travel anywhere in this world. Um, you can be anything you want to be. Uh, do not limit yourself. And I just wanted to stress the importance uh, of reading and the importance of growing to them. And achieving your dreams? Absolutely. Achieving your, your dreams. I believe that that happens through repetition. Whatever you want to do in life, uh, attempt to master that craft through repetition. Practicing, practicing, practicing. And uh, don't worry about what anybody else says because the things that they said about me 20 years ago, they're still saying today. So it really doesn't make a difference, and you can achieve anything you want in life. Well, there you have it, the 411. Thank you very much, and we're out.